All right, next up, I want to welcome Edith Zimmerman. Okay, I'm going to read a couple uh, very, very short stories. Uh, the first one is called The Office. I was washing my mug in the office kitchen when I heard someone come in behind me. I turned around and saw it was my friend, Christina. She's not really my friend, but she's like an office friend. <laughs> hey, Christina, how's it going? I said. Oh, I'm good, she said, tired. Yeah, I said, oh, I'm really tired, too. <laughs> yeah, she said, I'm like exhausted. <laughs> no kidding, I said, I'm totally drifting off at my desk. Tell me about it, I'm like about to fall over, literally. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to lie down on the floor right now, I said. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was actually already planning to do that, she said, as she lowered herself to the ground in front of the refrigerator. I lowered myself down, too, and shut my eyes. Oh, this feels so good. I'm going to fall asleep, like, immediately. <laughs> Me, too. I'm so tired. I might never wake up. Yeah, I was about to say, I bet I'll die in my sleep. <laughs> I'll definitely die. I drank poison earlier. I drank poison too, I said. Then we drifted into silence, and we both died in our sleep at the office. Okay, this is um, almost the last one. Uh, this one is called The Dolls Came From the Ground. Elizabeth, where did you find those dirty old dolls? My mother asked me as I sat in the garden. I don't know, Mama. As, uh, I don't know, Mama. I said as I poured my new dolls their invisible tea. How can you not know where your dolls came from? I don't know. They just came out of the ground. I said it was true, and the ones I hadn't yet washed were still crusted with dirt. Well, she said, make sure to put them back where you find them when you're finished playing. They probably belong to another little girl. As my mother spoke, one of the dolls looked up at me and smiled. Another doll smiled and shook her head slowly from side to side. A third doll started to laugh, so I started laughing too. When my mother was gone, the dolls asked sweetly if they could borrow my sewing needles and a pair of scissors. When I asked why, they explained that they wanted to make clothes for their own dolls. Does everything have a doll? It makes you wonder. Okay. Uh, this is the last one, and it's called The Phone Call. It was a dark and stormy night, and I was alone in my house when the phone rang. Hello, I said. Who is it? But the person on the other end was silent. This is Edith Zimmerman. Who are you? I asked. I love to talk with new people. Please say something. But no, there was just more silence along with a few snatches of ragged breath and a faint sound of knives being sharpened. Hello? Hello? Ah, oh, well, I'm so excited you called anyway because whenever I get to talk to someone, it's so awesome for me. So first, let me just say a big thank you. This is really, really great. And here I paused to let whoever it was say something like, you're welcome, or whatever, but they were still so quiet. Although the sound of knives was getting a little bit louder, I guess. Okay, so what are you up to? I said, cooking? Are you getting ready to chop something up for dinner? Carrots? What? Just then I heard a low groan, garbled and throaty. Hey, you're talking, I said. You're going to talk to me, yay! I can't wait for what you're going to say! I was smiling so wide I could hardly contain it. It felt like the smile was so wide it would rip off the sides of my face and peel backward until my entire skull was exposed in the biggest, happiest smile ever. <laughs> Thank you. Opium Magazine's Quick Fix with Jiggle Technology for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Almost as cool as the Dead Sea.